One of the pastimes that can help you become a better fighter is a martial arts training. Training them will improve your life in numerous ways, such as in self-control, physical fitness, or humility. As a result, they continue to gain appeal on a global scale. Self-defense is one of the essential elements of martial arts and the reason why they were developed. Since the emergence of contemporary MMA, events like UFC and Bellator, we can now watch nearly all martial arts in a pressure-tested, nearly realistic setting. This provided us with a fresh and enhanced understanding of their real efficacy. From unarmed combats to cage fighting, here are the 20 most effective martial arts in the world. Number 20. Shaolin Kung Fu it's crucial to understand what Kung Fu means in China before digging into the history of Shaolin Kung Fu. Contrary to common belief, the phrase really refers to any unique accomplishment or honed ability that is attained through effort. Thus, practicing a spinning back kick to knock down a sparring partner is Kung Fu. Seriously. Kung Fu is a phrase that is frequently used to refer to a substantial chunk of Chinese martial arts, notwithstanding how it is defined in China. The Chinese martial arts are techniques that are originated with and are still connected to the Shaolin monks and monastery are known as Shaolin Kung Fu. One of the oldest, biggest, and most well-known wushu or Kung Fu schools of Chan Buddhism is Shaolin Kung Fu, also known as Shaolin Wushu or Shaolin Quan. It began and was created in the Shaolin Monastery in Henan Province, Greater China, during the course of its 1500-year existence. It mixes Chan philosophy with martial arts. Shaolin Kung Fu has influenced other martial arts, as evidenced by the common Chinese proverbs. Shaolin Kung Fu is the best under heaven, and all martial arts under heaven came from Shaolin. The so-called exterior styles of Kung Fu are also branded with the moniker Shaolin. The term Shaolin is used in several styles in southern and northern China. In terms of the body, Shaolin Kung Fu gives us the capacity to protect ourselves as well as health, fitness, agility, and energy. The monks change their bodies into armor using Qi Gong, and a unique breathing technique that involves the lower belly. One of the innumerable reasons why you never mess with a Shaolin master is that they are able to resist heavy hits, practically those from hazardous and occasionally sharp items. And even if you are a street fighter with confidence the size of the entire planet, you might not have a chance. Shaolin Kung Fu may be successful because it emphasizes punches, throws, blocks, and strikes. Shaolin Kung Fu practitioners also practice on the ground, which is advantageous in the event that a battle ends up on the ground. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Karate A martial technique called karate was created in Ryukyu Kingdom. Under the influence of Chinese martial arts, notably Fujian, White Crane, it evolved from the native Ryukyuan martial arts. The majority of individuals nowadays begin learning karate because it was developed by people to defend themselves from harm in a social setting. And the majority of modern karate methods include striking, including punching, kicking, knee and elbow strikes, as well as the knife, spear, and palm heel strikes. Grappling, throws, joint locks, restraints, and vital point blows are also taught historically and in certain current systems. A karateka is a person who does karate. It can be performed as a sport, a form of self-defense, or as an art. The focus of traditional karate is on personal growth. The psychological components of a suitable attitude, such as persistence, bravery, ethics, and leadership abilities are highlighted in modern Japanese style training. Sport karate emphasizes competitiveness and physical activity. In certain forms of karate, practicing with weapons is crucial. Number 18. Boxing. Boxing, commonly referred to as Western boxing, is a combat sport in which two opponents engaged in prolonged punching matches within a boxing ring while typically using protective gloves, hand wraps, and mouth guards. Millions of people across the world watch boxing as we know and love it now. It's currently one of the most well-liked combat sports. There are innumerable stories of bravery and heroism that have been recounted inside the confines of four ring posts and stretched canvas. A martial arts discipline known as the sweet science consists of striking combos, upper body movement, defense, and fluid footwork. Two men enter the ring with the expressed intent of finishing one another off or advancing far enough to a decision. Some claim it to be the most honest examination of a man's physical prowess. 
Despite the fact that the name boxing is typically associated with Western boxing, in which only fists are used, boxing has evolved in diverse waves across various regions and civilizations. In general, boxing refers to a group of combat sports that emphasize striking. Two opponents engage in a fight using at least their fists, and depending on the regulations, they may also employ kicks, elbow strikes, knee strikes, and headbutts. Western boxing, bare knuckle boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, Lethwe, Savate, and Sanda are a few examples of contemporary sports. Numerous martial arts, military systems, and other combat sports have used boxing methods. While hand-to-hand -hand combat has been among humans from the beginning of time, the first signs of boxing may be found in Sumerian sculptures from the 3rd and 2nd millennia BC. Boxing was first recorded as having rules in ancient Greece when it was made an Olympic sport in 688 BC. Through prize fights in the 16th and 18th centuries, mostly in Great Britain, boxing was developed into the sport that would become modern boxing in the middle of the 19th century, with the adaptation of the Marquess of Queensbury rules in 1867. Number 17. Kickboxing A set of stand-up combat sports centered on kicking and punching, kickboxing is a kind of boxing. Fighting usually takes place in a boxing ring while participants wear boxing gloves, mouth guards, shorts, and bare feet to encourage the usage of kicks. Kickboxing is practiced for competition, general fitness, and self-defense. When the Professional Karate Association PKA, conducted the inaugural World Championships in September 1974, American kickboxing, which had its beginnings in the 1970s, gained popularity. From a historical perspective, kickboxing may be viewed as a hybrid martial art created by fusing aspects from numerous traditional schools. Since the 1970s, this strategy has grown in popularity, and since the 1990s, kickboxing has helped to shape the development of mixed martial arts by furthering fusing with folk wrestling and ground fighting maneuvers from Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Kickboxing, unlike the majority of other martial arts, emphasizes leveraging your energy, agility, and reflexes to outmaneuver and eventually outpower opponents, which is why championship fights are always exciting for onlookers. Number 16. Judo Since 1964, judo has become an Olympic sport as well as a contemporary Japanese martial art technique for unarmed conflict. Jigoro Kano developed judo in 1882 as an eclectic martial art, setting it apart from its forerunners, particularly Tenjin Shinyo Ryu Jiu-Jitsu and Kit Ryu Jiu-Jitsu by emphasizing randori, or free sparring, rather than kata, and by eliminating components of striking and weapon training. The term judoka refers to a judo performer, whereas the term judogi refers to the judo costume. Jujutsu, a style of close fighting, and aspects of mental training were combined to produce judo. Jujutsu's origins may be found in sumo. In order to win a match of judo, you must throw your opponent, pin them with a grip, or use a joint lock or choke to make them submit. Even though they are part of some prearranged forms, kata, strikes, and the use of weapons are not usually practiced and are forbidden in a judo competition and open practice. The International Judo Federation, which oversees judo globally, hosts competitions on its professional world circuit. Number 15. Taekwondo. Taekwondo, also known as Taekwondo or Taekwondo Do, is a kind of martial arts from Korea that focuses on head height kicks, spinning jump kicks, and quick kicking techniques. The exact translations of kicking, punching, and the art or way of are all used to describe Taekwondo. They are a type of martial arts in which one occasionally uses weapons along with hands and feet to strike or protect any time or place. Taekwondo physical training has a purpose and encourages mental fortitude through mental fortification. Taekwondo practitioners dress in a dobak or uniform. It's a fighting sport that was created in the 1940s and 1950s by Korean martial artists with training in Taekyeon Sabak, Gwonbyeop, Chinese martial arts, and traditional Korean martial arts like karate. The emphasis on head height kicks, leaping and spinning kicks, and quick kicking skills define Taekwondo. In reality, spinning kicks, head kicks, or a combination of both earn extra points in world Taekwondo sparring contests. Taekwondo typically employs stances that are narrower and higher than the larger, wide stances utilized by martial arts like karate in order to permit quick spinning kicks. Particularly in Kukiwon style Taekwondo, the trade-off of a diminished stability is thought to be worth the corresponding improvement in agility. Number 14. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a combat sport and martial art that focuses on grappling and ground fighting. 
It is a difficult martial art technique that also offers rewards. Jiu-Jitsu is a branch of Judo, however it emphasizes ground fighting tactics more. Attending sessions with a qualified instructor is the best way to learn Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You will practice methods with various partners while taking lessons. You can also get a black belt with perseverance and devotion. It emphasizes the ability to dominate an opponent when they are on the ground, acquire control of them, assume a dominating position, and apply a variety of chokeholds and joint locks to subdue them. After Carlos was taught traditional Kodokan Judo and Jiu Jitsu by visiting Japanese judoka Mitsuyo Meda in 1917, the Brazilian brothers Carlos, Oswaldo, Gasto Jr., Jorge, and Helio Gracie began to create Brazilian Jiu Jitsu about 1920. Through the inventions, techniques, and adaptations of Gracie Jiu Jitsu and Judo, BJJ finally emerged as its own distinct fighting sport and developed into a vital martial art for contemporary MMA. International governing organizations like the IBJJF define the guidelines and requirements for sports BJJ contests. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is based on the idea that a smaller, weaker person can successfully defend themselves against a bigger, stronger, heavier opponent by using leverage and weight distribution, going to the ground and defeating them with a variety of holds and submissions. This idea was adapted from Japanese Jiu Jitsu. Its instruction may be applied to both self defense and competitive grappling scenarios. Live drilling and sparring, sometimes known as rolling within the BJJ community, are essentially to training and the growth of practitioners. BJJ may also be practiced as a way of life, a means of fostering moral character, and a means of boosting physical health. Number 13. Mixed Martial Arts Mixed Martial Arts MMA, also known as cage fighting, no holds barred, and ultimate fighting, and formerly known as the Valet Tudo, is a full contact combat sport centered on striking, grappling, and ground fighting that incorporates techniques from several combat sports from all over the world. The phrase mixed martial arts was first used in print in 1993 by television critic Howard Rosenberg in a review of UFC. One, it's debatable who came up with the word in the first place. Numerous interstylistic competitions were held in Japan and the nations of four Asian tigers at the beginning of the 20th century. The Gracie family was known to organize the Valet Tudo contests as a strategy to promote their own Brazilian Jiu Jitsu style in Brazil, where Valet Tudo is a sport. The 1976 exhibition fight between boxer Muhammad Ali and wrestler Antonio Inoki in Japan served as a forerunner to contemporary mixed martial arts. The fight, which was drawn after 15 rounds, served as inspiration for the establishment of Pancrase in 1983 and the Pride Fighting Championships in 1997. Nowadays, mixed martial arts is a dangerous full contact combat sport that unites athletes from many backgrounds. It's considered one of the most hazardous martial arts because of this. Some of the hardest athletes on the globe are professional MMA fighters. Fighters need a robust physique with tremendous strength and quickness to face them and survive in the cage. If someone is passionate about mixed martial arts and wants to compete, they must prepare for it. You may develop strength and overall fitness with MMA training, even if you are a beginner and do not wish to compete professionally. Number 12. Japanese Martial Art The current Japanese martial art of fencing, known as Kendo, is based on the two-handed sword, the katana, skills used by samurai soldiers. The shinai, a weapon used in contemporary Kendo, is crafted from four bamboo slats. They are bundled up into a cylinder with straps and a cap and grip made of leather. Then, a knot in the middle and a nylon string are used to join these. Participants dress in protective gear known as bogu or kendogu. A classic split skirt and coarse cotton jacket are also worn by practitioners. Three referees evaluate the effectiveness of the opponent's strikes during a kendo match. The first player to accumulate two legitimate points within the allotted time wins, usually three to five minutes. A contestant wins if they score just one point throughout the allotted period. The match may go into extra time if neither competitor earns a point. There are times when games might also be declared a draw. The match area is between 9 and 11 meters in length and breadth. Points are awarded depending on how well the method was applied using Kin Kin Tai Ichi. Unified spirit, sword, and body. Additionally, a number of other strict conditions that are not evident to the naked eye must be met through techniques as it's sometimes insufficient to strike the target. Number 11. Tai Chi The internal Chinese martial art of Tai Chi, commonly referred to as shadow boxing, is practiced for meditation, health benefits, and training in self-defense. There are Tai Chi practitioners everywhere. 
Beginning in the early 20th century, Yang Shihou, Yang Shengfu, Wu Qianquan, and Sun Lutang promoted the art for its therapeutic properties. Its widespread appeal may be related to the overall improvement in health. There are several historical and contemporary forms in use. Most contemporary fashions may be traced back to one of the five ancient schools, Chen, Yang, Wu Hao, Wu, or Sun. All may trace their ancestry to Chen village. Tai Chi has its origins in Chinese medicine, specifically Qigong, and has been practiced for thousands of years. It may seem strange to combine martial arts and meditation, yet that is what the practice does. The goal is to slow down your mind and body by performing rhythmic movements and breathing exercises repeatedly for 30 to 60 minutes. When someone is performing Tai Chi, it almost seems like they are moving in slow motion, and it is obvious that they are completely concentrated on what they are doing. Another name for Tai Chi is moving meditation. Number 10. Salat the name Salat refers to a class of indigenous martial arts from Southeast Asia's Nusantra and neighboring geocultural regions. In Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Southern Thailand, Southern Philippines, and Southern Vietnam, it's customarily performed. Approximately translates from Basha Indonesian to fighting skill. In actuality, it's a synthesis of a huge array of somewhat dissimilar martial arts that were separately established across the Indonesian islands with each kingdom traditionally having its own recognized combat technique. Like most other martial arts, they were created for combat, but they put an emphasis on effectiveness. Salat is a kind of martial arts that focuses on rapid kills rather than knockouts, allowing you the opportunity to confront another attacker before they strike you. If you can master the technique, it's a flexible martial art that is ideal for today's group of attackers. A few straightforward self-defense ideas in Salat correspond to the combat technique itself. One of these guidelines is to always keep your hands open when defusing a crisis. With open hands, it's simpler to promote the employment of additional methods and it's simpler to catch kicks. Open hands are a good idea since, in theory, it's simpler to stop a weapon with them and you need to grasp someone in order to confine them. Number 9. Line. Line is a close quarters combat style that was used by the U.S. Marine Corps from 1989 to 1998 and subsequently by U.S. Army Special Forces from 1998 to 2007. It evolved from several martial arts. Ron Don Vito, a USMC member, created it, although this is a backronym that was created when the project first started. Each warrior receives instruction in a certain set of close combat techniques at the beginning of their careers. To enable everyone to train together, it's intended to provide a military unit with a close combat system that is the same regardless of MOS, age, gender, or rank. This offers you a benchmark that is comparable to a PT exam. Even while it's not a panacea, Line does handle all types of fundamental close combat, from standing on the ground and both armed and unarmed. Number 8. Arnis. The national martial art of the Philippines is Aris, commonly referred to as Kali or Eskrima. The three titles together refer to the Filipino Martial Arts, or FMA, which are the national martial arts of the Philippines that emphasize open-hand methods without weapons as well as weapon-based combats using kicks, knives, bladed weapons, and other improvised weapons. Arnis derives from the old Spanish word for armor. Arnes. It's said to have originated from the armor costumes used by players in classic Moro Moro stage play as they simulated combat with wooden swords. Arnes is another antiquated Spanish word for a weapon that dates back to 1712. Escrima is a derivative of the Spanish term escrima, which means fencing. Their French equivalent, escrima, is similar to the word skirmish in English. Most likely, the pre-Hispanic Filipino language for blades and fencing is where the name Kali comes from. Arnis also teaches grappling, joint locks, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and even disarming skills. Even while, in general, these arts emphasize the use of weapons, certain schools emphasize the use of empty hands instead, and some old schools do not even match the use of weapons. Arnis, Eskrima, and Kali are all forms used to describe the same family of Filipino weapon-based martial arts and combat systems. Number 7. Muay Thai Muay Thai, often known as Thai boxing, is a combat sport that combines stand-up hitting with a variety of clinching maneuvers. This practice is referred to as the art of eight limbs because it combines the use of fists, elbows, knees, and shins. In the late 20th and early 21st centuries, Muay Thai flourished abroad and westernized Thai fighters competed in kickboxing, mixed martial arts, and Muay Thai contests all over the world. The Professional Boxing Association of Thailand 
which is authorized by the Sports Authority of Thailand, oversees the professional league. The warriors of King Naraswan were known to practice Muay Thai as a kind of martial arts during times of peace as the early 16th century. In his renowned work, and the Ayutthaya Kingdom, Burmese-Siamese War, from 1765 to 1767, Simon de la Lubre, a French diplomat sent by King Louis XIII to the Kingdom of Siam in 1687, observed and recorded a demonstration of Muay Thai. Muay Baran, and consequently Muay Thai, was originally known by more generic terms such as Toy Muay or simply Muay. Muay became a sport in which contestants battled in front of viewers who came to watch for amusement, in addition to being a useful fighting method for use in actual combat. Over time, these Muay competitions became an essential component of regional festivals and festivities, particularly those staged at temples. The bare-fisted combatants eventually began to wrap lengths of hemp rope around their wrists and forearms. This particular match was known as a Muay Kat check. Number 6. Aikido Iwama Ryu, Iwama Shin Shin Aiki, Shorin Kai, Shodokan Aikido, Yoshinkan, Ren Shin Kai, Aikikai and Ki Aikido are only a few of the many diverse forms of the contemporary Japanese martial art known as Aikido. Around 140 nations presently practice Aikido. Marehe Yushiba created it in the beginning as a fusion of his martial arts training, philosophical views, and religious convictions. Yushiba wanted to develop a martial art that his practitioners could employ to defend themselves and shield their assailants from harm. Aikido is frequently translated as the path of harmonious spirit, or the way of integrating with life force. According to the founder's concept, the main objective of Aikido practice is to conquer oneself rather than develop aggression or violence. To express this idea, Marehei Ushiba coined the phrase Masakatsu Agatsu Katsuya Habi, which translates as real triumph, definitive victory over oneself here and now. Daito Ryu, Aiki Jujutsu, is the primary source of Aikido. However, it started to depart from it in the late 1920s due in part to Yushiba's affiliation with the Omoto Kyo cult. Documents from Yushiba's earliest pupils mention Aiki Jujutsu. Number 5. Sambo Along with Greco-Roman wrestling and freestyle wrestling, the World Wrestling Championship speaker Sambo, Russian martial art of Soviet provenance, as well as combat sports that are widely practiced. The term Sambo is an abbreviation for self-defense without weapons, or Samo Zash Chita Bez Oruziha. Sambo is comparatively contemporary because of the Soviet NKVD and Red Army first developed it in the early 1920s to help soldiers become more adept at hand-to-hand -hand fighting. It was meant to combine the most potent elements of many combat styles. Viktor Spiridonov and Vasil Ochchikpov were Sambo's founders. Oshchipkov lived in Japan for several years while receiving judo instruction from Keino Jigoro, the sport's creator. Oshchipkov, who had been charged with being a Japanese spy, passed away in custody and as a result of the Great Purge. Spiridonov and Oshchipkov separately created two distinct genres, which later fused to form the well-known Sambo. Spiridonov's method was gentler and less severe than Oshchipkov's, known in Russia as free wrestling. Additionally, it was less strength-reliant, which was largely because of the wounds Spirodonov had during World War I. Sambo was created primarily for the military and law enforcement around the turn of the century. It is a fusion of striking and grappling skills, with a focus on mind and body fitness and general toughening. Training takes place in a boot camp-like setting for adults and via play and activities for children. The pupils will employ all of their strength and available skills when sparring. Number 4. Wing Chun Wing Chun is a southern Chinese kung fu style that combines rapid arm movements with powerful leg strikes to beat adversaries. Wing Chun's growth into one of the southern Chinese martial arts is said to be its true origin. However, this is still up for debate, due to the fact that the art was transmitted verbally rather than in writing from instructor to student. There are issues with the history and documentation of Wing Chun. Another factor is the development secrecy, which stems from its links to anti-King rebellious groups. There are at least eight separate lineages of Wing Chun, each of which has a unique origin narrative. There are even conflicting genealogies regarding the same instructor within the same branch. One of three major martial arts from southern China over the years, Wing Chun was passed down from the generation to generation before Grandmaster Yip Man. 
whose name is still well known today, popularized it. A well-practiced form of Wing Chun, Wing Chin is a potent martial art. As seen by one of its foundations, Wing Chun places a greater emphasis on the speedy defeat of adversaries than other self-defense techniques. It has a special style and specific method that use both defense and offensive, making it incredibly successful in actual battles. If you are a martial arts aficionado and are familiar with several styles, you will want to be able to distinguish what makes Wing Chun unique. And if you believe that Wing Chun is a martial art that can be defeated because it employs so little sheer force, then you're obviously incorrect. A true master of Wing Chun can bring even the most imposing adversary to their knees. Number 3. Lohan Quan All Chinese martial arts named for the Arats, the revered Buddhist figures, are collectively referred to by the term Lohan Quan, which translates to Arat Fist. The oldest and most recognizable kind of Shaolin Kung Fu is the Luan style. The early Shaolin Temple Ages are where the Luan style first developed. Various Luan styles may be found in the Shaolin Temple. In addition to the Shaolin Luan forms, several other regions of China have produced other Luan-related styles. The Shaolin Luan 18 Hands and Luan Quan are revered as the primary styles from which the majority of Shaolin Kung Fu forms and other non-Shaolin forms have been developed. Number 2. Sistema This Russian martial art is called Sistema. After the Soviet Union fell apart in the 1990s, a number of schools of systems emerged, with professors claiming ownership of their individual systems, which are typically named after themselves. Invaders from the north, south, east, and west had to be repelled by Russia throughout its long history. Each assailant brought their individual fighting philosophies and armies. The conflicts took place in various terrains, in both the stifling heat of the summer and the bitter cold of the winter, and the Russians were sometimes vastly outnumbered by the opposing troops. These elements combined to provide Russian soldiers with a fighting style that was both practical, lethal, and efficient against every kind of foe in the any situation. It combined a strong spirit with incredibly clever and varied tactics. The aesthetic was free-flowing and natural without any fixed guidelines or restrictions, except for moral ones. Each approach was based on a person's natural emotions, abilities, and features and was created with quick learning in mind. In 1917, the communists swept to power and outlawed all national customs. Those who continue to fight in the old-fashioned risk receiving harsh punishment. Authorities immediately grasped how effective and lethal the original battle method was, and they limited its use to a small number of special operations units. Number 1. Capoeira Brazilian martial art capoeira incorporates dance, acrobatics, and musical aspects. It was developed by the ancestors of enslaved Africans who worked in Brazil. Capoeira is a continually developing art form that dates back to the early 16th century. It is renowned for its acrobatic and intricate movements, frequently incorporating hands on the ground and inverted kicks. The ginga, a rocking stride, is typically the technique's main point, emphasizing fluid motions over rigid postures. The name capoeira's most frequently recognized etymology is derived from the Tupi word aka, which means forests and refers to the low-lying parts in the interior of Brazil where escaped slaves would hide. A capoeirista is a person who practices the art. Although capoeira is sometimes described as a martial art masquerading as a dance, it also functions as a means of preserving spirituality and culture in addition to serving as a means of self-defense. Capoeira was deemed unlawful in Brazil in 1888, the year when slavery was abolished. But in the early 1930s, Mestre Bimba developed a kind of capoeira that eschewed its spiritual roots in favor of jiu-jitsu, gymnastics, and athletics. As a result, the government recognized capoeira as a sport that is acceptable in society. That's it for 20 most effective martial arts in the world. Please share your thoughts on this video in the comments section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing on the screen right now.